Hi, uh, I'm Kieran, and I'm part of Turku Bioimaging. Today we're actually going to be looking at a new microscope that's been set up, the Delta Vision OMX, and we're going to speak to uh, one of the engineers that has set it up today. Uh, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Uh, my name is Jeff. I'm a field service engineer for GE Healthcare, and I'm based out of Seattle, Washington, in the United States. So this is our kind of flagship microscope. It's uh, super resolution, uh, super fast uh, microscope. It can do multiple imaging modalities, including structure illumination, turf, um, general wide field convolution, uh, localization techniques. Um, it uses multiple cameras and multiple lasers um, to go yeah, super fast. This is kind of all the electronics that make everything, that control everything and provide the light. Um, underneath the hood here are the six lasers. They're all visible light lasers across the visible spectrum. Okay. Each, each of the six laser lines has its own high-speed shutter. Um, after which it goes through an ND filter wheel, so this can change uh, to allow different power transmission for each laser. Um, and then it, it then goes into the beam combiner block, which then sends it down the fiber optic. Right, so the, the, the SI fiber, the SIM fiber, is okay. straight on. If you change the turf mode in the software, it'll actually lift that. It's just a, a mirror on a little flipper motor, mm -hmm. which will then direct it down the turf fiber instead. Underneath here, we have power distribution, basically a power strip. Uh, that everything's plugged into, so there's one single power switch that you could shut everything off in a hurry if you needed to. Okay. Network switch that basically um, allows all the camera computers to transmit their data. Uh, below it is a, a computer that controls a lot of the components, just kind of sends commands what, what to do. Uh, on this side, we have one computer for each camera. Uh, those have uh, two solid state drives rated just to get as much speed as possible, data throughput as possible. Below that is a, a piezo controller, so that's for the, the Z piezo. Yeah. Uh, and then the other two chassis down there, the instrument controller and nano motion chassis, uh, basically again just provide power and, and control to multiple different components, like the different motors and things like that. Mm -hmm. So this contains the actual uh, microscope block. Okay. Um, it's inverted, you put the, the sample uh, directly onto the oil immersion objective underneath this big black dust cover. Mm -hmm. is uh, the SIM light path, structure illumination, that's our super res light path, or one of, one of the super res light paths. Okay. Very high level overview of the SIM path here. So this is where the fiber optic comes in. Okay. Uh, so the light comes out of here, goes through some lenses, uh, there's a grating in here that splits the light into multiple beams. Mm -hmm. Some more lenses to start changing the focal point. And then on the, on the right side of the scope, um, this is kind of our wide field side so we have the the wide field um, ring turf uh, so turf is total internal reflection fluorescence mm -hmm. microscopy um, our ring turf uses two um, mirrors on goggles to basically spin it in a ring at the back aperture of the objective okay. and that gives a much more even um, illumination pattern okay. right um, also part of that light path we have some extra optics to enable um, kind of higher power density at the back or sorry at the sample so we can um, do some localization techniques as well, palm storm, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, and we also have a photokinetics module which allows like photo activation, bleaching at the sample, things like that. Mm -hmm. One of the big advantages of SIM is that you can use just standard fluorophores for the okay. most part. Um, it's, a, it's very easy to, to kind of just move straight to it from a typical uh, wide field or you know confocal type microscope. Mm -hmm. um, the localization techniques do need some special fluorophores and special chemistry to make them work. Um, we have multiple adapters to use different types of, uh, of, of dishes and, and slides. Mm -hmm. um, our SIM hardware is very fast, uh, so it's able to actually do uh, ultra or super resolution it for live cells. Okay. Um, and our cameras as well, we have three different cameras and they're uh, high-speed SCMOS cameras, um, mm -hmm. so they can they can uh, actually outpace the SIM even, so they're okay. it's um, very quick. Put the sample on, you just close the doors up, move over to the software, and, and we have, between the ultimate focus and a few other mm -hmm. uh, software tools, it makes it very easy to kind of find the sample, okay. uh, even without eyepieces. <laughs> Keep the lights on in the room, you don't get so sad and tired working on a microscope, okay. and, and it's also insulated, there's some insulation inside of all these um, you know, side panels, so mm -hmm. it kind of keeps out some vibrations as well as keeps the, the temperature a little bit more stable inside as well. Okay.